Hola, me llama... No. Hola, me llama Amy. Uh -huh. um, y... Tengo 26 años. Uh -huh. um, yo vivo en Inglaterra. Ok, súper uh, bien. And that was, hello, my name is Amy. I'm 26 years old and I'm from England. Ok. <laughs> nice to meet you again, Amy. <laughs> nice to meet you again. Ok, so uh, just to start, how was your experience here in, in Guatemala? Guatemala? Guatemala has uh, been very like, eye-opening. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like... So me and my friend Brogan, we actually got up mm -hmm. every morning, went to the markets, and it was nice to see the locals go about their everyday life. I can tell that everybody takes pride and puts mm -hmm. a lot of hard work into everything they do, if it's their job mm -hmm. or if it's even the way they dress. Like, I love how the women yeah. dress head to toe in traditional, mm -hmm. even the men in, like, their hats and their shirt. Mm -hmm. I love that, and I just feel like the Guatemalans... I feel like coming to Guatemala, I've got a good feeling for mm -hmm. the people, and I can tell that they take a lot of pride themselves and everything they do nice. and I think they're lovely people <laughs> nice. yeah so you recommend Guatemala as a destination 100% okay yeah I feel like it's an eye-opener and it's a beautiful place yeah. to come to and as bef well. before to come uh, what did you hear about Guatemala where uh, what, do, uh, what do you did hear? I hear yeah um being honest yes please. I didn't know what to expect okay I literally so my friend Freya mm -hmm. uh, she had been wanting to come here for a while uh, she was supposed to come here a few years ago Mm -hmm. but didn't get the chance because of covid and yeah. she was like i have to come back like i want to mm -hmm. spend at least a month here and we've all done that we've been here for like a month mm -hmm. um but yeah i really didn't know what to expect it was okay. all on her <laughs> like her idea her yeah. vision uh okay. but yeah i knew it was going to be kind of exotic yeah. um and that i was going to experience something completely different to england but yes Okay. I didn't know. And how's your experience when you came to Guatemala? I mean, uh, with the COVID test, do you need uh, something special? Or how was your experience uh, coming to Guatemala? Yeah, so I actually thought it was going to be a lot more difficult, but we come from Belize in San mm -hmm. Ignacio. So the borders are literally right next to each other, aren't they? Mm -hmm. um, but I needed, well, I was asked for proof of vaccination. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Something else. Okay. <laughs> what was I yeah. asked for? Proof of vaccination. And they wanted it printed out. Okay. But actually, when I got to the border, they didn't even ask for it. Mm -hmm. So online it said, oh, you need this. But That's actually it. at the border, yeah. it was kind of, they checked my passport <laughs> and they were like, yeah. it's all good. I so think, yeah. Yeah, I think it depends uh, when uh, you travel because sometimes the, you know, the website of the government is just a little bit hard. They have to change their, yeah. their, the rules and everything. But yeah, uh, maybe uh, the, that rule, it was before. Mm. And when you came, it's another rule, but don't publish that on the website. Also. Yeah, I think that, yeah, they have like their precautions and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, it was an easy trip here. Okay. Yeah, I <laughs> thought it was going to be a lot harder. Everybody, yeah. In my head, it was going to be harder, but all the travelers that mm -hmm. we met, they were giving us that information that like, it's absolutely fine. Yeah. So I didn't know what to expect, but yeah, it yeah. was easy. It was good. And how do you feel uh, about the... Um, COVID here, I mean, to be sick, for example, or what do you think about COVID in general, just in this trip, for example? Yeah, uh, so personally, yeah. like, I'm not, because obviously I'm 26 years old, mm -hmm. I know obviously... So you're strong. I'm strong, I'm fit, <laughs> I'm not scared of COVID. Okay. Um, uh, being in Guatemala, I don't feel like there's, I haven't, I haven't really thought about it. Mm -hmm. um, but also, if I was to get it, I wouldn't be scared if I was here because for me, I'm fit, I'm healthy. Mm -hmm. I would just, I would do what I would do at home. Mm -hmm. I would just maybe okay. rest if I felt ill. But I have had COVID before and I was fine. So okay. for me, COVID isn't like, uh, <laughs> what's the word? It's not a problem. Yeah, it's not a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. And yeah, so I have some questions for you, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, my first question is, do you think that people who wants to come to Guatemala or Latin America needs to speak Spanish or not? Um, I think it's good to come with, you know, if you don't know any Spanish, that's okay. I come here, I didn't know any Spanish, only like un poquito, mm -hmm. which is very small. Everybody who doesn't speak Spanish knows yeah. that word. <laughs> um, so I think it's okay to have not a lot of Spanish understanding, mm -hmm. but definitely when you're here, like you want to learn more because you want to speak to the people, exactly. you want to be able to communicate and it's more enjoyable um, mm -hmm. to be able to speak to the locals and find out things about their life or even just mm -hmm. getting about. So yeah. 
yeah, I wouldn't say you need to know Spanish, but I think mm -hmm. uh, when you come here, you want to yeah. learn it and it's a good place to learn yeah. and practice. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, that that uh, is my next question. How do you feel it is your progress during your uh, time here in, in Guatemala? Um, I definitely think it's improved. Mm -hmm. So, like, even uh, coming from... So, where was I? In Mexico. So, I went to Mexico mm -hmm. where I was... Being like, hola, like trying <laughs> to use what I knew. Yeah. Um, and then in Belize, because they speak English, a lot of English there. Yeah. I was still going around going like, mm -hmm. gracias. I like, still trying to use my mm -hmm. Spanish, but then I didn't need to. And then when I come to Guatemala, I started again, uh, like using the simple terms. Mm -hmm. um, but I think, so since I've been at this school, um, mm -hmm. just having conversations with people, I've surprised myself. Okay. At what I understand mm -hmm. and like what I'm remembering. Okay. So I definitely think I'm remembering things, uh -huh. which I didn't think I would because mm -hmm. I don't consider myself having a good memory. I think okay. I'm normally like, ah, what? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I've remembered things and mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's definitely improved a lot just having okay. like conversations with my teacher yeah. and also my friends and yeah. my Mayan family. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah. And how do you feel uh, or how do you, what do you think about the methodology one-on-one? -on -one? One teacher for one student. Because there is a lot of people that think that come to Guatemala, it's have uh, with a big group, like mm. uh, six or seven or ten uh, other students in each class. But how do you feel that is uh, it's better? To or one-on-one? -on one-on-one, -on -one, yes. Um, yeah, I think I would... Uh, uh, sorry. If I was in a big group, mm -hmm. I think it may have been a mm -hmm. bit more difficult. Mm -hmm. Um Because I guess a lot of it is listening and reading. Yeah. Like, you need to be able to, like, mm -hmm. listen and take it. And even if you don't understand things, it's up to you to, like, listen. Um, but I guess if it was in, like, a bigger group, I maybe wouldn't have had the chance to... Yeah. To like, really practice. Yeah, to mm -hmm. practice and had, like, aren't, sorry, to have asked many questions. So yeah. I think one-on-one -on -one is better, personally. Okay. But, yeah. you know, everyone's different. So. I think that in uh, England it will be... So expensive to have one on one for four oh, hours per day. Word, What yeah. do you think? Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Like you would not get this type of um, service as mm -hmm. well as like for the price. Like yeah. it's insane. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and yeah. So, uh, how many languages do you speak? English and uh, Spanish right now. <laughs> dos. <laughs> dos idiomas. Dos idiomas. Uh, <laughs> English y español. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, do you have? Like some advice for people who are trying to learn a new language? Uh, of what you're learning in these uh, weeks, for example? Yeah. Um, I think, as I said like before, just listen. Mm -hmm. okay. um, you know, conversation, I think, is the best way to learn. That's mm -hmm. how I feel. Obviously, get like the basics, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is like the, the verbs. Uh -huh. Obviously, like your and to and as you go on. Um, But other than that, I just generally think it's like listening and enjoy the process and mm -hmm. um, like wanting to like learn about, say, like your teacher. So mm -hmm. I feel like I enjoyed my time more because I love, like, I literally loved Annie, who was my teacher. Mm -hmm. um, and I wanted to like know about her and her life. So mm -hmm. I think that kind okay. of. Okay. Nice. Yeah. And yeah, how do you think that uh, the Spanish language is useful in your profession, for example? In my profession? Yes. Um, do you know what? I'm already thinking about how I can live maybe in like Mexico okay. um, and I want to get a job there. Mm -hmm. And if I am going to get a job there, knowing Spanish yeah. will be so much. I, I need it really yeah. uh, to get about, to not take advantage, be taken advantage of, mm -hmm. to communicate with like colleagues and um, yeah, just have a better time living in Mexico if I end up getting a job there. So it definitely like opens up your options knowing a language. Yeah, so which kind of job you are looking for in Mexico? So, I'm open. <laughs> <laughs> right, so back home I do, uh, so I've got like a marketing degree. Okay. Um, so maybe like in social media or events or PR, I'm interested okay. in events. So that would be like yeah. speaking to a lot of people. It would be yeah. Spanish speaking people's events, yeah. like the locals and stuff. So I'm going to need to be able to communicate with mm -hmm. them. Okay. So um, it'll be so essential. Which, which kind of events, like uh, con concerts? Yeah, music, musica. Music, yeah, musica. Si? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, musica. Okay. Um, that would be what I would like to do. Yeah. 
Okay, nice. Yeah. Sounds very good. Yeah. Sounds very good. Trying yeah. to live, you know, I, good life. I uh I like parties, mm -hmm. but you know that working in a party is different that go to a party just to enjoy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah See, so there's yeah. a lot of things behind the scene. Exactly. Yeah. Or if it was like an artist li liaison, mm -hmm. do you know what that is? I hear about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So like I'd help run the show. Okay. Um, so you can enjoy it more rather than being <laughs> on the bar. Yeah. 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 Uh, so uh, my next question is, do you have some story, a great story that you uh, live here in this trip? A story. Yeah, a story. I mean, a fun story yeah. or, yeah. Do you have one story so that you, you can uh, like remember uh, so after like this travel? Yeah, so specific to Guatemala? Uh, not necessary. It can be in Belize or Mexico. Or okay. Um, well, I'll say about when I was in, well, being in Guatemala. Mm -hmm. um, so me and my amigas, mm -hmm. we uh, went and did the Mayan nose hike. Mm -hmm. So we woke up at 3.30 in the morning. You think, oh my God, I'm not going to do this. <laughs> I'm so tired. Yeah. But you wake up. We were literally full of energy. All of us. I feel like we were just so uh -huh. excited. And it feels like you're going on holiday. We was like, mm -hmm. oh, we could do something. <laughs> so yeah, it was... Uh, 3.30 in the morning, we mm -hmm. got picked up by our guide, Henry, but because we've like got to know like a few of the locals, Henry's mm -hmm. actually somebody that we knew before, and he was like, oh, I do the Mayan nose hike. Mm -hmm. And so we went on it with him, so it's a bit more personal. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we drove up the hill to okay. where we had to hike. Um, and really, I feel like Henry's the one that made it special because we it was dark, we were sat on this like rock, mm -hmm. uh, and you can see that all of like, got to well, yeah. San Pedro and yeah. all the lakes like lit up and you can hear the dogs in the background and then okay. Henry's telling us the history of like the Mayan culture mm -hmm. and he taught us about uh, how you should say Watamaya. Watamaya. Watamaya, <laughs> which is <laughs> the good people. Um, and yeah, he gave us like a really nice insight just about um, Guatemala. Very nice. And it was just like, I've th honestly, that was the best thing I've done since traveling. Mm -hmm. Just watching the sunrise, being with everybody. We had our speaker, yeah. we had the musica. Yeah. And we were dancing <laughs> to the sunrise. And it was just like really feel good energy. Yeah. Uh, so we was uh, muy feliz. Yeah, si. I think so. I think, I mean, I am from San Pedro, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I think Nariz del Indio is one of the the things that I can do, you know, every week. And and it's the, the same uh, feeling, the that, feeling that is yeah. like... A very good place, a very nice energy, and yeah. Yeah. I think um, Nariz del Indio is a great, great activity to do here in Lake Atitlan. Mm. And that's my next question. Uh, which kind of uh, activities do you recommend for people who wants to come or that uh, are in San Pedro or in Lake Atitlan? Um, so paddle boarding. Okay. I think get up in the morning as the sun's like just rose, so it's not too mm -hmm. hot. Get on the paddle board, yeah. do that. Um join San Pedro Spanish School. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, and obviously the hikes, the mm -hmm. sunrise. I just think the sunrises are incredible. Yeah. Like, and when you're awake at that time in the morning, mm -hmm. even though there's still stuff going on, like you see yeah. me and my friends, we were saying we love like seeing the dogs live. Uh -huh. Like they're all like running about, no humans about, and you can just see them getting on with yeah. like their business. But um. Yeah, definitely like waking up, seeing the sunrise. Okay. Um, and yeah, just getting to know the people, going to the markets. Yeah. I love going to the markets. Like mm -hmm. we, um, when we was in the Airbnb, uh, Airbnb, we had our own kitchen. So we went to the market every morning, made our own food. Uh, and that's just like a nice experience doing that yeah. every morning. So you don't have to buy loads of food, yeah. but you buy your vegetables yeah. like each day. And yeah, just simple things nice. like that. Yeah. Nice, nice. And yeah, and... My next question is, what do you think about the weather in Guatemala? Or Lake Atitlan in this case? Beautiful. Yeah. Can't complain. <laughs> I think that one of the greatest things in, in Guatemala, it's, or in some Lake Atitlan, is that this weather is the same all the year. Mm. And I know that in England, for example, or Europe in general, uh, you have uh, four seasons, right? But in, in, in Guatemala, we just have two seasons. That is summer and winter. Oh. And the change when it's winter is... Just uh, the rain. Okay. And in the morning, it's the same weather. So it's, mm. a, it's a nice thing. Well, even though we experienced like a little bit of rain, mm -hmm. like it was 
so different to England rain because it's, it doesn't go on for long, but it's interesting yeah. because it's still hot. Yeah. It's still warm and it's raining. It's just <laughs> like, wow. Like, yeah. It's cool though. I enjoyed it. I've, I said when I went traveling, I want to mm -hmm. be in like the rainforest whilst it rains. Yeah. Like, because it's still warm and it's just like. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's the same with the lake, for example. You can swim all uh, every day in the lake because mm. the weather is. Oh, perfect. yeah. Swim in the lake yeah. is beautiful. Literally, yeah. you've got the heat, cool off in the lake. Perfect. There's a few like jumping spots mm -hmm. as well that you can do. I'm trying to think what else we've done. We obviously you can hop to like the different uh, mm -hmm. towns like really easily by boat. It only takes, well, doesn't take long, does it? Like te between like mm -hmm. 10 and 20 minutes, like mm -hmm. depending on what yeah, exactly. um, town you're going to. So, nice. Yeah. Nice. So that's it. Thank you very much for uh, coming to visit Guatemala. I am really, really happy because how I said you uh, like two, three, three years, uh, I mean, days ago, I was traveled to Europe and Asia and United States to promote Guatemala as a destination. And before COVID, it was a little bit hard because people think that Guatemala is very dangerous or oh, yeah. here in Guatemala, uh, we don't have like the basic uh, needed, you know, like uh, if somebody uh, becomes sick, mm. where I go, I need to come back. You know, we have doctors, for example, or, or, I mean, there's a lot of things here. It's not like uh, sometimes uh, people watch on the TV. So yeah, to, just to finish, can you have a message for people who wants to come to Guatemala? Yeah, come. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, it's yeah. um, such a beautiful place, great people. Mm -hmm. um, definitely don't be scared to come here thinking that yeah. you're gonna be without all your amenities and things like mm -hmm. that. Like, you're absolutely fine. There's not, there's, I don't feel like there's like any risk Come in okay. here, so come and enjoy yourself. Learn Spanish. Yeah, yeah. Meet the people of Guatemala, of Guatemala. Guatemala, Guatemala. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you very much again, and yeah, hope to see you soon in yeah. the near future. Yeah, me too. Thanks. <laughs> okay, thank you. Was that okay? That's very good. Yeah. <laughs> okay.